hello everyone uh, yeah, welcome to our devilon studio uh yeah in this video i'll be showing you how you can handle url params in vjs using our devo router so like if you want to get a single post or a single product from a list of product or post so i'm gonna show you how you can handle that in vjs so without wasting your time please head over to your view app head over to your view app uh your you, uh, yeah let's go to our router our router page first our router folder so we'll go to the index.js so now i have a part i have a part which will be my home page for slash then i have a component post and i have a name of home page so the second object here is what the uh the, the dynamic uh the dynamic url component the dynamic url part which is for slash post for slash semicolon id the component is what single post which i have which i imported from the views folder and the name of the component is what single post you can remove this it's not necessary you can remove it so but what i think i'll be needing it so let me add it here so now first thing first let's go back to my post file I have a data, I have a domain data here. Uh, they are just uh, or are not, they are array of posts. Array of posts. So now I can just loop through the data and output them. So let's say div v4 v4 post in post so just like react i need the key so i have to bind it colon post dot id so then let me also put it post dot title and let's see what we have so i have my post title i have my three post title here now so i can just uh remove this and add a link so the router provides us with an element like that that we can use for our dynamic routing router link so i need a two which i have to bind i have to bind it so now i need my params I need my params which will also be an object so i need the id i want to use the id you can use slug you can use slug you can use any any name here so now my id should be coming from what the value should be what post.id the value should be post.id so after that i need uh so uh, something that will be pointing to this uh to this component so here you can use the part you can use the name but i'll be using the name so the name is what single post yeah that's the name single post so if you over on it if you are on it now you see if you look at the bottom left of the screen you see that we have what for slash post for slash three for slash post for slash two and for slash posts for slash one so now if you click on it now as you can see we have what our single our single post or uh, component so let's now go back to my single post component or uh, let me just copy all of this let me copy all of this and paste it here you know no, no in the real world application you'll be using vx to fetch the data so you can just import or uh, uh, import uh, the data from or uh, from your from your store from your store but since this is a tutorial I decided to use uh, the dummy data so now uh we need to get what we, we need to get a single post for the particular params that when the words when the uh when the url params 
like when i mean i mean when the id is equal to the word is equal to the post id then we should display a particular post we should display a single post so vx provides us with uh these dot route dot params dot id let's see what we have you see single post three if you go back here we have what single post one so now we can just use this we can use this 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 dot dollar sign route dot params dot id you know like just like what we did in react when when i did when i used uh params equals to use params then console.log params dot id you get so just like uh our uh, what we did in react so we can go back here copy this like remove it totally so you cannot say oh no not const so you can see id should be equal to what should be equal to this dot dollar sign route dot params dot id so now uh what we're going to do here is what we're going to do here is what let's go to uh below the data below the data so you can add a comma here and say computed computed post return return this dot post i mean like i'm referring to this post this dot post dot find since it's an array you can use the find method this dot post find post so if the post dot id is equal to what strictly equals to what this dot id if you want to access any any data you want to access any uh, any key in the data object you have to use this so when i wanted to access the post i use what this dot post and when i wanted to access the id i used this dot id as you can see here so now uh this will give us the single the single post so you can just come here go back to your templates you can just go back to your templates and say Then go back to your templates and see h2 post the title let's see what we have okay seems we have an error we have an error so open your console let's inspect this is cannot read properties of undefined type 2 so now oh uh, wait let me let's wrap this in number let's wrap this in number first yeah as you can see so the hero was that what this is a string this dot this dot id is a string i mean the params this uh this route dot params dot id is a string and you can expect post id which is a number here you can't expect it to be equal to a string just like what just is what i'm saying one is strictly equals to what this this is not post this is not equal you get so that's why i wrapped it in what in number that's why i wrapped it in number yeah something like this so this will return what the number version of this string so so let's see what we have now yeah so we have what post post one 
so let's go back here and i'll put the the post body post dot body post dot, yeah this is post one so if you go back to post two so this is what post two if you go back this is post three so that's pretty much it as you can get uh, or you can get a single a single post or single product from a list of products and you can use the view router to do that so let me just make a quick recap of what we did here so i create i created the route my home page my component and the name so for the dynamic uh, route the path for slash post for slash colon id component and the name so my hub dot view has to contain the, the router view component so then my post my post of view component i created the data i i looked through the dummy data using the v4 post in post the key post dot id then i use the outer link uh and, and created a dynamic a dynamic route here so the params which should be an object should be coming from the word post dot id you can use slug you can use anything here but if you use slug here the way you access this should be what this dot route dot params dot slug yeah i hope you understand now so and the name of the component which is single post so the single post component i fetch the data again like i wrote the dom data again in the completed component i return this dot post dot find it is an array method dot find when the post id is equal to the words the route params dot id so then i outputted uh, my component so uh, yeah thank you for watching thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed the video please like and do well to subscribe for